But it ain't even gotta be like that <laughs> Yo man, he be calling me back He say I'm fine and a matter of fact <laughs> He asks how I do that That fit my jeans over baby fat What's up y'all? Just came back from that Georgia traffic. Oh, it is crazy and it is so hot outside. I haven't even took a shower. I got straight off work, went to the store and got some rice because I forgot it yesterday. But I did finally make it back home. Um, I'm cooking my rice now for my um gravy. I'm also cooking some peach cobbler, peach cobbler pie. I'm cooking it the easy way where you don't have to roll out the dough like the old fashioned way. But my mama used to cook it that way, but now I cook it a simpler way that my mom taught me. But yeah, um, I filled it up with water as you can see. Of course, that's not the peach juice though. The peach juice is in there, but I also added some water to fill it up. Um, I'm using three cans of Great Value peaches. It don't really matter that it's cheap because I don't care that it's cheap. Cheap brand is the best. Like It really don't matter that it's cheap. It's all about what you put in there as far as the seasonings in it that make it taste good so don't let the name brand stuff fool you now because even i even got a great value pie crust some people are like oh i like pillsbury it don't matter it's all the same you're just basically paying for the name but i got some vanilla for to put in my um peaches also some cinnamon some flour to make it thick and also some sugar to give it that sweetened taste and I already put the butter in there, so I have to wait till that melts before I put all my seasonings in there. So, um, it's going to be the bomb. My husband love it. It's his favorite. Every time I cook him peach cobbler pie, he don't be wanting me to touch his pie. But he know I'm going to get some. So, I don't know why he act like that. But I'm going to show you guys what it looks like when I finish and um, how I do it. So, and maybe you guys interested in asking me how to cook a peach cobbler pie. And somebody might learn how to cook a peach cobbler pie. But... You know what? I'm going to go ahead and finish cooking. I got to cut up my onions and my bell peppers for my uh, meat. And I'll get right back with you guys as soon as I finish. I'm back. Finishing my peach cobbler. It's almost finished. Time to put it in the oven. Just going to scoop these peaches out. And put in the pie crust over here. It's going to be so good. So good. So good. I'll cut the edges of my pie crust off. Then I'm going to lay that on top of my pie. Then it's going to make the top covering for my peach cobbler. It's going to be the bone, y'all. Then I'm over here cooking my gravy and rice. I'm finished with my rice. Just waiting on this to cook. Then it's going to be time to eat. Y'all going to be hating while I eat my good ass peach cobbler. But I'm just going to show y'all how I do my peach cobbler. But I'll check you guys when I finish. I'm going to show you the final results of what my pie look like. It's going to be really, really good. What's up, y'all? Final results on my peach cobbler pie. Um, it's done. Um, a lot of cinnamon on it. It's time for me to eat. About to eat my hamburger meat and rice. Looks really, really good. So I'm about to dig in and feed my face. Finally finished. I took my shower now. I am in the bed. I'm so glad that I'm off tomorrow. So hopefully I could get a little bit of sleep because I only got like two, three hours of sleep this morning. So now it's finally hit me since I've laid down. So hopefully I can stay in the bed tomorrow and just chill out and relax and not have to do anything. But for some strange reason, I'm really, really craving some water right now. I'm really, really thirsty. I don't know why, but it's like my body is begging for some water. So I'm going to go get me some water. Then I'm just going to chill out and try to go to sleep and relax. So peace. See you guys later. <laughs>